so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to stop the human score. So uh, before we start stopping the human score, let's just take a good look at some references in here. Using an expand this a bit more. Okay. Something like this should be fine. So let's kind of check for similarities and differences between skull of a male and a female and differences based on ethnicity also. So if you take a look at this reference now, let's cons let's start with that of an African. So this is a human this is a human female African American skull. Now, if you look at this properly, you might not see so much of a noticeable difference between between this skull and the other skull in there, but at least I can notice one particular difference in between them, particularly for the jawline, for the jawline, something like this. You can see how slender it looks. It's kind of angled around here, and this particular this particular region here is a bit rounded. A bit longer. So I don't see the difference in here. Now if you compare that to an African male, you can see how curved this part is. Though this part is still feels a bit rounded, but if you connect those zoom as you can compare the both of them. You can see how this jaw here, which is, is more of like a let me just take a screenshot from this so it can better analyze this. Okay, so with this now we can see the noticeable difference in between. Let me just show you guys here. So for this jawline here, we have something that goes like so. Whereas for this other one, we have something. Okay. Uh, let me erase this. And draw that again. Whereas for this one, we have something that is more or less like this. I would like so. So, this is like the major still noticeable difference in, in here. At least for this, for like a generic and female and male, male, male school. But it's actually differs, differs based on the actual character. For some females, they might have longer jaw. Or shorter jaw, or more sharper jaw, like that of a of a male. But you need to give me points to pay attention to your reference. But this is like a solid foundation to give you a clear idea of how to create a how to create a a female character. Also, another thing you can you should pay attention to is this. There's something else also in here. So something like this is this called structure. The scroll structure for this clearly at this end parts is more or less like something rounded like so. Whereas for this we have something that goes all the way back and has a sharp angle like this. This is another simple difference also. This is how this part is rounded. Whereas that of a new it starts to move like a sharper sharper angle to it at the at the back end. So this is another part another part also you may need to you may need to be Pay more closer attention to. Now, if you do some, there's also something else in here also. This front part of the jaw, we have something that is, for this film, we have something that is more rounded, like so. Whereas for this part, it's something more angled, like so. So, this is a large difference also from the male and the female stuff. But it's still different based on ethnicity and the actual character you are in So you, you will have to pay attention to, to your to your character and something very important. So if you kind of look at it here also, there are some other differences here also. You can see that of a human, a human female Asian school. Let's see if you can score some major notable difference here. Difference here. For this almost very similar to the female skull also of that of an African. You can see how it's curved down here. You can see it curved a roundedness down around here. Whereas for this part, for a, for a male, we have more of a sharper angle to it. We have more of a sharper angle to it. 
let's do the next take that for the scholar also, for the back of the scholar. So you notice here is more for the female African female is more rounded at the back. Here also is more rounded too. And here is more angled. You can see how angled it is. Angled it is down here. But now it's, it's, more, more, it's more noticeable for that of a of an European. More noticeable for that of an European. So if you notice it's, like, it's a bit more obvious for that of an European female. Where the skull at the back is more rounded, it's more like a ball at the back. Even for that of the even for that of the of the male, the European male also is more rounded also at the back. Except for this part that is a bit higher. But the even that of this even for this European for this European female. And this is the answer that the job is more angled, like that of an African me. See, it's more angled here. It is more angled down here. But for an European male, the European male job, though not, not for all Europeans though, but for this part of our sports sports structure we have in here, the job line feels more of a, that's a picture of the female, of the female. We compare that to, compare that to this the African female. So you can see how some of these are kind of interchange for one another. But that's why it's always important to kind of pay more closer attention to, to the people, to your to the character you are really structuring for for your to the actual character you are really structuring very important. Even though you can about these grand rules at the back of your mind, you always want to pay attention to the character you are really structuring. So for this actual school, we are going to be sculpting now this is like a front view for it. As more of a front view for front view for it. So you can also take your time to kind of analyze how it looks compared to some other you know, some other other scores also. But that but this does but this does make me just like the ground ground rules for for a basic head or the you know, generic head model. So for this call, I'm going to be using this particular reference. It does some side views you can actually use for this. So back into the brush, let me just minimize this. Let me just shrink this, shrink this down. Kind of remove this in here. Okay, so that it should be fine. So we're not really going for perfection in here. We just want to get something that looks similar to a skull. We might not even be sculpting the teeth. Or maybe we maybe we can't just sculpt it. You see. So I'm going to start with creating a sphere in here. I'm going to start with the generic sphere. Okay. okay, this is it in here. Let me just hide this. Okay, so let me size this up around here. So the main thing we can get is the general silhouette of the score. Of the school. That's what we need to kind of capture in here. Let me just put this to the side. So I'm going to start by using the clip form. Let me make sure this is on symmetry. That's way too much. Yeah, something like this should be fine. We also have a reference in here that gives us a clear guide. We also have a reference in here that gives us a clear guide too for what we can actually do in here. So if I'm actually pulling the spore structure, let me see which direction to fix this. Let me zoom in here. I'm not going to make a new spore structure in here. Let me kind of put this in the direction of our reference image. This part one side, we have to use this way. That's an optimization file. So that means we need to kind of push out or put out this frontal part. So I'm not going to use the, I'm going to use the max rex. So more or less somewhere around here should be fine. Somewhere around here. Most especially where the jawline, where you can just 
but the start phase and she will be trying to do. So I'm trying to map out somewhere around these parts. They are like way more like the jawline at least as starts from and like around here. So something like this now, then I'll just push this down. I'll use the gizmo. But at the same time, you can then kind of push this down. Something like this. They'll see if you kind of pick this even more. But at least we're kind of putting where the jawline should be. More or less like where the jawline should be. Kind of kind of eyeballing the distance from here all the way here. So I'm eyeballing the distance, but that's something like this should be fine to start with. I'm still going to fix the phone side a bit more, but let's just get this to start with. So I have something like this. Then I'll go out of this. Then I'll just kind of smooth this back in the world, right? So you know that's way too much. Though we need some more topology for this though, but this usually should be fine for now. Now go to the new frontal parts. Now for this frontal part, let me just kind of do from the top view instead. Probably the top view should be a better way to do this. So from this skull view, from this side like so. So we use kind of teams. Ah, uh, we also kind of match. It's kind of match that. You can see how we are actually kind of get in here, there's a depth in here, and there's a depth in here also. So let's kind of block in that depth. So I'm going to use the move tool now. I'm actually in the move already. No, I'm going to use the move tool to push this in. Let's kind of get this S4 around there, which is, which is something like this now. Then it has the max out. Then I will push this in here also somewhere something somewhere around here even more so around here also but once once we kind of get this sharp angle around here this sharp angle around here so let me go to this let me use from this view instead so probably use the we use the front view you need to push there's something like around here like so Fine. So since we're taking this from the side, we're just taking this from the side view, like so. This is already here. So this one needs to kind of come down like so. And this one needs to kind of match. Kind of match that transition. So around here should be fine. Then I'm going to use the edge trim dynamic rather to kind of flatten this out and then it's there. It's gonna get an angle to it, something like this should be fine. No, that's way too much. Yeah, something like this will work just fine. Then, we have a point view, we need to grab a check for the point view for this. Okay. Then let me just move this around here. More than more, more than to create this cheekbone or this cheekbone around here. But this one should be a bit back like so. This one should be a bit back like so. And I believe I can start smoothing since I'm a bit more. Just to get them in place. Something like so should be fine. Now this part last time is a bit more fixing. I can just use the standard brush kind of you no know, that's way too strong. You take down the size. Something like so. And this part of part is a bit more angle to it. So I'll just push this to the side. There's something like this should be fine. Then this jawline should go back even more. Push it back down even more. Let's smooth it out. Okay? 
Let me just watch this movie movie to my so some guy will just be fine. He just smoke this out. I'm forgot to block out everything in place before we move on to the next thing. So now I can use the clay build of brush now because we're going to establish another landmark in here. We're going to establish another landmark in here. So let's, let's establish this cheekbone landmark around the first. Let's establish that. She should be sewing from around at the back like so. So I'm going to use the same standard brush instead. I'm going to grab something like this. Mm -hmm. That's kind of, that part is wrong. So around mm -hmm. here. The brow ridge also should be around here also. So let me just grab this thing like so. Something like this. Fine. I'm just blocking out some of the major landmark major landmark before moving on. Then the nose should be around here. So around here. Let me just raise this part up a bit more. Like so I'm looking at the jaw now. This jaw line is way to Lead to down. Let's try and just raise this up with these marks around here. I'm going out of, going out of symmetry mode and I'm just doing this thing like so a bit more. Then this part should go in even more. Around this video, I should go in even more. No, I suppose we need to be selected on the arm. Okay. And let's say this would be a safe time to kind of see if I mean, dynamite is the point of the nose. Yeah, let's kind of dynamite this. Let's see if we can put this in. And we we'll get the eye sockets. So we need that much for this. Probably we'll use the remote brush and just push this angles to more. So around here should be fine. Yeah, sometimes it should be fine. And since let me use the move to kind of raise this up with this. Okay. Then dig in here. So go to the bottom of this region and this region down here. I'll just push this thing towards. Like this jazz, but we need more topology to work with. Let me just block this thing now. I think it would think be a safe time now to kind of add more submission level to this. But before I do that, I'd like to push this thing over here. So get something like this around here. More like a depth around here. Then use the same standard brush and kind of carve out something like so. Probably from around here should be fine. No, that's way too broad. Like this. Somewhere around here also. So I think it's safe now to kind of dynamic this. Let me push this thing once. Let me just push this thing once. Okay, so let me just dynamic this now. So I have more so I have more resolution to kind of work with in here. Or I maybe need to move this guy backwards a bit more. Just to get that unevenness of this fall around there. So I'm like this should be fine. So I'm just going to go to geometry now, then I'll just do a dynamite for this. 
So dynamic is now so now we have more resolution now to work with. So let's just go and put the code the smooth brush is going to have this in the system. Let me just try to start smooth sensors out a bit more. Okay. I'm not going to go, I'm not going to address it on the smooth thing because I want to kind of keep the keep the hair silhouette of of this. So it's probably like a good place now to work with. This is like a good place to work with. So we can start so we can start blocking things out even more. So let's eliminate this part we have in here. So I'm going to use the them standard brush to kind of mark out mark out some some of the landmarks like around here so that kind of helped me as a good guide it's a good guide to kind of know where I'm at and what I'm doing the moving points I'll just mark out this call probably this shouldn't be a bit closer like so So let's keep working on this even more. We have something around. We have no name. Also have something around here. It takes a while it's gonna get this in, get this in the proper shape. But the idea is just keep so just keep working on it once here. So I'm gonna fix the things up beyond this. Just kind of lock this part in. So I'm using a damn standard brush and holding off just to lock some of these some things in. I want to have some kind of roundedness of where this region should be. This part should be a bit more rounded. Let me kind of do something like so. Let's move that out. Then we'll get the silhouette of the nose, you know, the nose facing there. I'll use the clay brush to dig this in. Kind of have, have a bit more blue part in here. Brush size is going to intense. That part that is too deep though. I think I'm only I'm going to kind of separate this out. I would even need to kind of separate this out. Oh, that's a bit too much. That's a bit too intense. Okay. Probably it won't be, it won't be a good time to kind of separate that out. So the clear brush now I can just move this out like so. There'll be a depth in here. I think this part, this part is just really deep. Let me just place that. Let's place this out a bit more. 
Schön wie der Team. So ein kleines Schuh mit Bein. Und das ist ein bisschen von der Spaß. 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 I marked that cards. I make sure double-sided display, double-sided response card. Yeah, some like this is fine. I mark six. The loud do is split. Split on max points. If I turn this. Oh, now we have something like this, which is fine. This is fine. Oh, the only issue now with this is that if I do a dynamic match with this, it's kind of lose this moment for us. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, that's completely fine though. That's completely fine. I'm going to start this like so. Now we'll smooth this out. Bring this guy back down. So now we have that. So now we have that gap in there now. So let me just put this in place. We just kind of take it move to. Just move this in place. Yes, make this down down. That's fine. Also need to do for this part, we also need to cut out this region. Yeah, something like this, something for them like that should be fine. So what from that so what from that thing then? Is that what we want? Okay. So now I will already get very good, you already have the general proportion of the of the score in there. We just need to keep refining this until we have to get what we want. Then just use the standard version and we need to grab this out a little more. Take this from the side view. Okay. We cannot make an indentation around here. I should isolate this instead and just move it just this. I'm moving on to the next step. Just make this part a bit whole, like so. I'll flesh out this part even more. Now we have some kind of holes in there already. Let me give this one for you. A dynamic this again. Okay, that kind of, of closes that. That closes that one. That's fine. Okay. So let's keep working on this. So I'm just making a bit of a brush to kind of do this thing. Probably we need some more resolution. More, we have a resolution for this. Probably need some more resolution for this. But let us keep working on this. So I'm just going to add something around. Let me just show you what I'm trying to add now. You can see this brow ridge around here. It's going to add that. 
can just get this from this video. Do I continue to make the bullet just kind of get more in there? A little bit more defined. So some, something around. Let me use. So somewhere. The mistake, you can see the separator around, the separator line around them. Then you can block out that separator line in there first. That's what you need. Look at that separator line in there first. Then I can now build around that region. Somewhat like this. It will be too high though. Look like this should be fine. So you can object this from the top view. Let's see if you can have the top view on this. Yeah, so that should be fine. Let me just move the ends out. Then we have an indentation in here. You can see that in a separate line in here also. So I'm using the standard brush to kind of block this in. It should be something like something that goes all the way even around here. So it should be like like something like when I'm moving off, kind of put this in there. So let me put this. No, no, it's, it's like more of like an S pop. Something like this should be fine. Now small that out. Then we need to kind of add some more blocking around here. Something like that goes across all the way, like so. Something like this should be fine. Probably it will accentuate that. I'm going to do that with that and that approach and just. Kind of do something that goes across like this. Now just take out the smoke brush and just smoke this slightly down like so. Let me kind of capture the silhouette of the skull even more. Somewhere around here. Let me just look in the wrong brush. Somewhere around here. So let me just block this part out and smooth this part down. Okay, I just want to keep this plane in there. This plane is a good landmark to keep me focused on the on the general landmark of this call, so I don't straight off of that. Probably need me to go smooth this down a bit more, and this part should be. Not every day I can see it. Let me just change. Let me just kind of. Put to the view, it's kind of look somewhat like this. So this one is just way too high though, so I need to compensate for this. Let me just dig this down a bit more. Pull it up, dig this down a bit more, and just move that out. Something like this should be fine. Okay. Probably we need to pay more attention now to the score. So using the then standard brush and holding out around it, I will just kind of carve out this sharp line around the score region, something like so. Just make that be more known. Probably even here also. Though the score shouldn't be as rounded as this, though, it's kind of deform it a bit more. But at least one more or less like there. This also I need to this also I need to raise up even more. Now this kind of defined look you know, you've created the nose. When they where they kind of kind of plane in, in here. So this part is up and kind of plane in here. So I use the trim brush to kind of add some kind of plane. No. Kind of play now change in here, something like so. Yeah, something like this should be fine. And this part also cuts up and down like so. Probably we need more subdivision for this. Let's just keep, let's just keep working on this. So in the side view now, I'm going to kind of create something to create this continuation around here. So that goes so that goes across like so. Let me I'm using the depth of that brush and then hold it out. I can just say kind of add that 
for winding some something somewhat like so. Okay. Now let's kind of make some adjustments to the silhouette of the nose. You can see it is more more or less like a triangle in there. Let's kind of get that looking more or less like a triangle also. Side now, but side really messed up. Let me just put it this. Kind of get an angle, sharp angle to it. So it's a light search will be fine. And you give me some of our kind of creating these bodies because once you get familiar with the structure of the structure of the human spot, once you kind of create this for a few times, it gives you a clear idea of the structure of the human spot. When you're kind of creating your own model, your own model, you have a better idea of what you are actually doing. At least it gives you a good anatomical idea of what to do when you get stuck. I'm not really going I'm not really going for to kind of do this extremely detailed. But I just want to just get something close enough that gives the gives that semblance of a natural spot in here. So let me just use something like so should be fine. Kind of build around here, like so. And let's now need more. I'll need more topology for this to work with. Let me dynamize this a bit more. Then this front part, we need to put this front part. You can see like more than a plane around here. You can see like another plane around here. Something, let me just see if I can use the Play build up brush and just build a new thing around here, something like this. Something like so. Probably we need to move this a bit further. The move brush. Yeah, something like this. Should be fine. Then I'll compensate for this around here. Yeah, that's fine. Maybe we'll dip, dip into this even more. Okay. Then yeah, that's something we have to add in here that we have not already added. It is the major silhouette, the really block that the major silhouette. And so I'm going to do not about this now, just to refine this. It just to refine this, refine this a bit more. Okay. Let me just use dynamite and not dynamite this and add some more resolution to this. But before I do that, let me let's fix. Let's fix this job. Let's get the job to look at this right from you know. And I'm saying that there's some changes here, then the proportion is just need to like. So I'm going to move brush, I'm going to push this up a bit more, like so. This this gap in between is where the teeth should be should be rested. This is gap in between. Yeah, back to this guy, this one is to go in more, a bit more like so. In more, like so. Still want to keep the general proportions of this. Okay. So now that John I talked about earlier, John I talked about earlier. Let's kind of look at that. Can see more. Is that you can you can have each tail that is a male score because of how angled, because of the sharp angle to this. Let me just dynamize this now. Because of the sharp angle to this, you can actually see this is a male score. Let me just kind of average 
So what we have around here, values, which is something like this. Okay. That is fine. Probably we need to pause. I'm not sharpening this like so. I will use that for a bit more. Okay. Let's see what we can fix in here before we now. You can see another planar change around here also. So let's kind of block that in. So I'm going to be using the clip motion now to probably dig something around here. Like so. I'm going to use standard brush to just block this thing. Let me use standard brush, then standard brush instead. Let me come to the start this thing like so. Then keep making some linear changes on top of this. Let me just use the same, same body group. Like I said initially, I'm not going for perfection in here. Because it will take a longer time to kind of keep sculpting and refining this to kind of get some of the details you have in here. I'm not sure I'm showing you guys the general silhouette of this. The idea, the idea is not to capture the general silhouette of it. Don't capture the general silhouette of it. Then you can build upon that silhouette to get your final results. Okay. 